While everyone's watching Google and IBM fight over quantum supremacy, a French company you've never heard of just broke the laws of physics. Pascal didn't just build a quantum computer. They built one that operates at room temperature, uses regular atoms as qubits, and just achieved something that should be impossible. Pascal started as a group of researchers at Institut d'Optique, one of France's most prestigious research universities. While the quantum computing world was obsessing over superconducting qubits and trapped ions, these scientists were working on something completely different. They were trapping individual atoms with laser beams. Dr. Antoine Brouet, one of Pascal's co-founders, explains their breakthrough. Everyone else is trying to build artificial quantum systems. We decided to use nature's own quantum systems, individual atoms, and control them with light. Here's what makes Pascal's approach revolutionary. Instead of cooling their quantum computer to near absolute zero, like IBM and Google, they trap neutral atoms at room temperature using optical tweezers, precisely controlled laser beams that can grab and position individual atoms. The result? A quantum computer that doesn't need a billion dollar refrigeration system, doesn't require exotic superconducting materials, and can be built in a regular laboratory. Here's the part that should terrify the quantum computing giants. Pascal's system is more flexible, more scalable, and potentially more powerful than anything the big players have built. Every other quantum computing company follows the same playbook. Build qubits using artificial quantum systems, cool everything to near absolute zero, shield from environmental interference, scale up by adding more of the same components. Pascal threw out the playbook entirely. Their quantum computer uses neutral atoms, regular atoms that aren't charged, as qubits. These atoms are trapped and manipulated using laser beams and a process called optical trapping. Dr. Thierry Lahai, Pascal's chief technology officer, describes the breakthrough. We can position individual atoms with nanometer precision, entangle them on demand, and reconfigure the entire quantum processor in milliseconds. It's like having a quantum computer that rebuilds itself for every calculation. Here's what makes this approach game-changing. Reconfigurable architecture. Unlike fixed quantum processors, Pascal can rearrange their qubits for each problem, optimizing the quantum computer's structure in real time. Room temperature operation. No expensive dilution refrigerators, no cryogenic cooling, no massive infrastructure costs. Natural error correction. Neutral atoms are identical by nature, eliminating many sources of quantum errors that plague artificial systems. Unlimited scalability. Adding more qubits is as simple as trapping more atoms, no complex fabrication processes required. While Google was announcing Willow and IBM was showcasing their latest superconducting processors, Pascal quietly achieved something extraordinary. In October 2024, they demonstrated a 100-qubit natural atom quantum computer that solved optimization problems faster than any classical supercomputer. But here's the kicker. They did it using a system that fits on a laboratory table. The French Ministry of Armed Forces took notice. Pascal became one of the first companies to receive investment from France's new defense innovation fund, specifically because their technology has implications for national security. Dr. Georges Olivier Raymond, Pascal's CEO, revealed the military applications. Neutral atom quantum computers can solve logistics problems, optimize supply chains, and break encryption systems, but they can also be deployed in the field 
unlike traditional quantum computers that require massive infrastructure. The real breakthrough came in December 2024. Pascal demonstrated quantum error correction using their neutral atom system, something experts said would be impossible without cryogenic cooling. They proved that room temperature quantum computing isn't just possible, it's practical. Steve Brearley from Riverlane, who works with quantum error correction, admits, Pascal's approach changes everything. If you can do quantum error correction at room temperature, you eliminate the biggest barrier to practical quantum computing. IBM has spent over $6 billion developing superconducting quantum computers. Google has invested billions in their quantum AI division. Microsoft has partnered with multiple quantum hardware companies. Pascal has raised $109 million and built a quantum computer that might make all of those investments obsolete. Here's why the quantum computing giants are quietly panicking. Cost advantage. Pascal's quantum computers cost a fraction of traditional systems because they don't require exotic materials or extreme cooling. Deployment flexibility. While IBM's quantum computers require specialized facilities, Pascal's systems can be deployed anywhere. Scalability advantage. Adding qubits to a neutral atom system is exponentially easier than fabricating more superconducting qubits. Performance potential. Early results suggest neutral atom quantum computers might achieve quantum advantage faster than traditional approaches. Dr. John Preskill from Caltech, who coined the term quantum supremacy, recently said, neutral atom quantum computing represents a fundamentally different approach that could leapfrog traditional quantum technologies. Pascal is proving that bigger isn't always better in quantum computing. The market is starting to take notice. While quantum computing stocks have been volatile, companies working with neutral atom technology have seen consistent growth. Here's the part that should really worry established players. Pascal isn't just competing on performance, they're competing on practicality. Pascal's roadmap reads like science fiction, but their track record suggests they can deliver. 2025, 1,000 qubit neutral atom quantum computer. 2026, fault tolerant quantum computing at room temperature. 2027, portable quantum computers for field deployment. 2028, quantum computers integrated into existing data centers. 2030, consumer quantum computing devices. Dr. Antoine Brouet predicts, Within five years, quantum computing will transition from laboratory curiosities to practical tools. Neutral atom systems will lead this transition because they're the only quantum computers that can operate in real-world environments. The implications go beyond just quantum computing. Pascal's success proves that the most revolutionary technologies don't always come from the biggest companies with the largest budgets. Sometimes they come from small teams of scientists who decide to ignore conventional wisdom and try something completely different. The quantum computing race isn't over, it's just beginning, and the winner might not be who you expect. Pascal's breakthrough doesn't just threaten the quantum computing giants, it changes the entire landscape of advanced computing. If quantum computers can operate at room temperature and be deployed anywhere, then quantum computing becomes accessible to universities, small companies, and even individuals. We're not just talking about a new type of computer, we're talking about democratizing the most powerful computational technology ever developed. Dr. Michio Kaku puts it this way, when quantum computing becomes portable and practical, it will trigger the next scientific revolution. Every field from medicine to material science will be transformed. The established quantum computing companies aren't standing still. IBM is exploring room temperature quantum systems. Google is investigating neutral atom approaches. 
Microsoft is hedging their bets with multiple quantum technologies. Pascal has a head start, and in quantum computing, being first to practical implementation might be everything. The quantum computing company that broke physics isn't Google, IBM, or Microsoft. It's a small French startup that decided to trap atoms with laser beams instead of building billion-dollar refrigeration systems. Pascal proved that the most revolutionary breakthroughs don't always come from the biggest budgets or the most famous companies. Sometimes they come from scientists who are willing to ignore conventional wisdom and try something completely different. The quantum revolution is here, but it might not look like what anyone expected. What do you think? Will neutral atom quantum computing make traditional approaches obsolete? Or is there room for multiple quantum technologies? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to stay ahead of the quantum revolution, subscribe and hit the notification bell. This is Click Future, where your future is a click away. The next breakthrough might come from a company you've never heard of.